Oh, oh, oh. We're married. We're married at last. Oh, darling, I have something to tell you. Okay. <laughs> Kid Castle has given us a very special wedding present. Wow. <laughs> They've made three family stories just for us. <laughs> 记得把为我们制作的三个有关于家的故事当做我们的结婚礼物啊，真的很特别。哎，让我们一起来欣赏吧。Let's watch. Here we go. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Darling, look, pretty nice. Hmm. Oh wow! Hey, the place will be clean soon. Mm -hmm. Darling, please help me out. Okay. I'm so tired. I want to get some rest now. Let's finish this later, okay? But darling, oh. I really need your help. I can't do it without you. Well, I know you need help, but I'm tired. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a break. Please sit down. Okay. I'll tell you a story about a little helper, and then afterwards we'll finish cleaning. Okay? A story? Oh, please tell me now. Okay, let's watch. A little helper. Flopsy is a good little rabbit. She likes to help people. One day, she asks her mom if she can help in the kitchen. I can cook, mom. Can I help? I'm not sure. <laughs> Flopsy's mom doesn't want her to get burned. Dinner is almost ready. Why don't you go find your sister? Oh, okay. Flopsy's sister is mopping the floor. Flopsy gets a mop and tries to help. I can mop the floor. Can I help? I'm not sure. Flopsy's sister doesn't want her to slip on the wet floor. I can do it by myself. Why don't you go find Dad? Oh, okay. Flopsy's dad is hanging out the laundry to dry. Flopsy takes a shirt and tries to help. Huh? What? I can hang out the clothes. Can I help? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Flopsy's dad thinks she is too short to hang out the clothes. He doesn't want her to fall. Ah, uh, maybe next time, okay, pumpkin? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh. Uh. 
Flopsy feels disappointed. She wants to help, but no one will let her. She asks her grandpa what she should do. Why won't they let me help? Oh, don't worry. We'll think of something. Flopsy's grandpa tells her that everyone will be hungry and thirsty when they finish their chores. Oh, we can fix them some snacks! <laughs> Great idea, Grandpa! <laughs> Flopsy and her grandpa wash some fruits and vegetables and pour some soda. I'm pouring the soda, Grandpa. Oh, ho, ho. that's great, Flopsy. Oh, <laughs> Here you are. Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. Wow! Flopsy! You are a great helper! I can help! <laughs> Let's learn! Burn. Burn. Sister. Sister. Mop. Mop. Slip. Slip. Help. Pour. Pour. Soda. Soda. Short. Short. Flopsy is a good little rabbit. She likes to help people. One day, she asks her mom if she can help in the kitchen. I can't cook, Mom. Can I help? Hmm, I'm not sure. Flopsy's mom doesn't want her to get burned. Dinner is almost ready. Why don't you go find your sister? Okay. Flopsy's sister is mopping the floor. Flopsy gets a mop and tries to help. I can mop the floor. Can I help? I'm not sure. Flopsy's sister doesn't want her to slip on the wet floor. I can do it by myself. Why don't you go find Dad? <sighs> okay. Flopsy's dad is hanging out the laundry to dry. Flopsy takes a shirt and tries to help. I can hang out the clothes. Can I help? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Flopsy's dad thinks she is too short to hang out the clothes. He doesn't want her to fall. Maybe next time, okay, Pumpkin? Okay. Flopsy feels disappointed. She wants to help, but no one will let her. She asks her grandpa what she should do. Why won't they let me help? Don't worry, we'll think of something. Flopsy's grandpa tells her that everyone will be hungry and thirsty when they finish their chores. We can fix them some snacks! Great idea, Grandpa. Flopsy and her grandpa wash some fruits and vegetables and pour some soda. I'm pouring the soda, Grandpa. That's great, Flopsy! When everyone sees the snacks, they are happy. Flopsy feels proud. Wow, wow Flopsy. Flopsy! You are a great, great helper! helper.
Sister, sister, sister. Mop, mop, mop. Slip, slip, slip. Help, help, help. Pour, pour, pour. Soda, soda, soda. Short, short, short. But I'm afraid that you might fall. I can help. I can help. I'll let you when you are tall. I can help. I can help. But I'm afraid that you might fall. I can help. I can help. I'll let you when you are tall. Wow, it's so beautiful. Look, Fujin, how beautiful! Oh yes, <laughs> darling. Huh? Where would you like to go on our honeymoon? Hmm. Hmm. Let me think. Um, some place with snow. Ah, we can go to the snow place because the snow is very beautiful. No, no, no. It's cold when it snows. Hmm. Snow will be very cold. Hmm. Let's go to the beach instead. How does that sound? We can go to the beach and swim. And we can even see the sun. No, no, no. No. I don't want to get sunburned. I have no idea where we should go. How about we just stay home, darling? Huh? Stay home? Oh, Tina Tiger is braver than you are. He is traveling around the world with a turtle. Tim 他虽然住在森林里面，可是他非常勇敢哦。他会跟小乌龟一起去世界各地旅行呢、哦。Hmm, really? Hmm. I want to hear more about Tim the tiger and his turtle friend. Tell me, tell me, please. Oh, 你想知道他们去哪些地方玩吗？ Mm -hmm. 好，可以。可是当你听完这个故事以后，我们两个就要决定要去哪里玩喽。<笑> Oh, all right. Okay. Tim's adventure. Oh, <laughs> the weather is really nice today, isn't it? It sure is, Daddy. Tim the tiger lives with his parents by a lake in a jungle. One day, he meets a turtle. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to visit my friends. Can you wait here for a moment? <laughs> sure. Tim has never left his home by the lake in the jungle. He wants to see where other animals live. He asks the turtle if he can come along. Can I go with you? Oh, oh, sure. Come along. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Mommy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, take, take care, care my, my baby. baby. I will. Bye, bye. So Tim leaves home and starts his adventure. Okay. 
here we are. I have a friend who lives right there. He's a squirrel. Mm -hmm. Hello, my friend. Long time no see. Hello, turtle. First, Tim and the turtle come to a squirrel's home. Squirrels live inside of trees. This is my friend, Tim. Welcome. Please come in. <gasps> you live in a tree. <laughs> yes, I do. Tim tries, but he can only get his head inside. The squirrel's house is too small for a tiger. The turtle and the squirrel can't help Tim. Oh, I guess my house is too small. Sorry. <sighs> That's okay. Okay, here we are. <laughs> This is where my friend the polar bear lives. Polar bear! Polar bear! Next, Tim and the turtle visit a polar bear. The polar bear lives in a very cold place with lots of ice and snow. Ho ho ho! Turtle, it's good to see you again. <laughs> this is my friend, Tim. <laughs> Hello, Polar <laughs> Bear. <laughs> Come on, my friends. This way, please. While the turtle and the polar bear are having a snowball fight, Tim just watches them. It's so cold, he can't move. Don't just sit there. Come and play with us. Ooh, ooh, no, thank you. I'm freezing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's wait and see. <laughs> oh, surprise! Oh, people, long time no see. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> oh, of course. This is my friend, Tim. Next, Tim and the turtle visit a hippo. The hippo lives in a river. He invites Tim and the turtle to join him in the mud. <gasps> Do you really like mud? Huh? Oh, yes, I do. I love mud. Come on in. It's great. Do 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 do
The turtle and hippo play happily in the mud. But Tim doesn't want to get his fur dirty. He misses bathing in his lake in the jungle. This is fun. <laughs> but the water is so dirty. Oh. Okay. Here we are. What? Uh, it's a desert. Next. Tim and the turtle visit a camel in the desert. It's very dry in the desert, and there is sand everywhere. When the wind blows, it's very hard to see. Where do you live? Where do you think? I live in the desert. Come on, let me show you around. In the desert, it's hot during the day and cold at night. That night, Tim doesn't sleep well. He dreams about his home by the lake in the jungle. When he wakes up, he is buried in the sand. After they leave the desert, Tim tells the turtle he wants to go back home. He misses his parents and his home. Oh, thanks for showing me all these places. I learned a lot. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. Oh, take care, turtle. Oh, you too. Tim can't wait to tell his parents about what he saw. When he sees the jungle and the lake, he knows he is home again. <gasps> I'm home! Daddy! Mommy! I'm home! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Rawr. It's so good to see you again. Oh, we missed you so much. I missed you too. There's no place like home. Oh, we missed you. Jungle Jungle Turtle Turtle Freeze Freeze Hippo Hippo Mud Mud Dirty Dirty Camel Camel Desert Tim the tiger lives with his parents by a lake in a jungle. One day he meets a turtle.
Where are you going? I'm going to visit my friends. Tim has never left his home by the lake in the jungle. He wants to see where other animals live. Can I go with you? Sure, come along. First, Tim and the turtle come to a squirrel's home. Squirrels live inside of trees. Welcome, please come in. You live in a tree? Tim tries, but he can only get his head inside. The squirrel's house is too small for a tiger. The turtle and the squirrel can't help Tim. I guess my house is too small. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Next, Tim and the turtle visit a polar bear. The polar bear lives in a very cold place with lots of ice and snow. Oh, where are we? I'm freezing. This is where my friend the polar bear lives. While the turtle and the polar bear are having a snowball fight, Tim just watches them. It's so cold, he can't move. Oh, don't just sit there. Come and play with us. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, I'm freezing. Oh. Next, Tim and the turtle visit a hippo. The hippo lives in a river. He invites Tim and the turtle to join him in the mud. Huh? Do you really like mud? Yes, I do. I love mud. Come on in. It's great. The turtle and hippo play happily in the mud. But Tim doesn't want to get his fur dirty. He misses bathing in his lake in the jungle. This, this is fun. fun. Oh, but the water is so dirty. Next, Tim and the turtle visit a camel in the desert. It's very dry in the desert, and there is sand everywhere. When the wind blows, it's very hard to see. Huh? Where do you live? Where do you think? I live in the desert. In the desert, it's hot during the day and cold at night. That night, Tim doesn't sleep well. He dreams about his home by the lake in the jungle. When he wakes up, he is buried in the sand. Oh, help! Over here! Come in! After they leave the desert, Tim tells the turtle he wants to go back home. He misses his parents and his home. Oh, thanks for showing me all these places. I learned a lot. You're welcome. Bye. Tim can't wait to tell his parents about what he saw. When he sees the jungle and the lake, he knows he is home again. It's so good to see you again. We miss you so much. Oh, I miss you too. There's no place like home. Jungle, jungle, jungle. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Hippo, hippo, hippo. Mud, mud, mud. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Camel, camel, camel. Desert, desert, desert. Darling, how do I look? Do you like it? Mm. Oh, yes, darling. Mm -hmm. Oh. Interesting. Oh, interesting. 
Oh, hello, darling. Oh, hello, darling. How are you? How are you? Why are you copying me? Why are you copying me? <laughs> Don't be like Dami. She always copies her brother Chivadi. You say Dami also can learn Chivadi. That he is like us. It's fun. No. Huh? That Dami and Chivadi happened to be in love. Well, let's watch the story and find out, shall we? Okay. Okay. The copycat. Chivadi has a younger sister named Dami. No matter what Chivadi does, Dami always copies him. Dami brushes her teeth just like Chivadi. Why? Why? That's your teeth. I am a superhero. Wait for me. I am a superhero too. <laughs> Dami pretends to be a superhero, just like Chivadi. <laughs> Dami laughs at the TV, just like Chivadi. <laughs> when Chivadi makes a face at Dami, she makes a face back at him. Oh, Dami always copies me. Oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> your mess. <laughs> fun, fun. <laughs> Chivadi, dummy, stop it. Don't play with your food. Don't play with your food. Finish your dinner now. Shivadi wants Dami to stop following him around, so he goes into his father's study to play. Let's play with the airplane. Huh? Airplane. Let's climb up on Dad's desk. Huh? Uh, on Dad's desk. Hmm, you two know you are not allowed in here. You can't climb on my desk. Chivadi throws all of his toys around, and Dami copies him. When their mom sees this, she worries. Hey, Dami, throw your toys like this. <laughs> fun, fun. <laughs> 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 What's going on in here? One day, Dami sees Chivadi doing somersaults. It looks like fun, so Dami decides to try. <laughs> don't follow me! Yeah, don't follow me! Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> I can do somersaults. Can you? I can't do it. But Dami can't do it. <laughs> mommy, mommy. <laughs> oh. Don't cry, sweetheart. 
Oh, you'll be okay. Oh, lie down and you will feel better. Uh, dummy, I am sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. Daddy, mommy. Yes, Chavani? I want to tell you something. After Dami goes to sleep, Shivati tells his parents what happened and how he feels. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. Shivati, Dami doesn't know right from wrong. I just don't want Dami to copy me. Oh, you know she copies you. So be careful. Yes, I know. Best let Dummy get some rest now. When Dummy feels better, Chivati starts to show her the right way to do things. Dummy, look at me. Hold a spoon and eat the soup like this. Good, Dami. Well done. <laughs> I'm so proud of you too. Let's eat. <laughs> uh, okay. Chivati tells Dami that they can't play in Dad's study, so they go to the park instead. Come here, Dami. We can climb on the jungle gym, but not on Dad's desk. <laughs> fun, fun. <laughs> Dummy, dummy, go, go, go! Ho, ho, ho! Way to go, dummy! <laughs> <laughs> when they get home, Chivati shows Dummy how to put away her toys. Mom and Dad look on and think their son is really growing up. Ooh, what a mess, dummy! Let's put your toys away. Uh, put the toys away. <laughs> put your toys in the box like this, okay? Okay, fun, fun. <laughs> Good job, dummy. Let's do it together. <laughs> Yay! Well done, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you've got a nice big brother, dummy. <笑> Let's learn. Oh, 小朋友，让我们一起来学习新的单词和句子吧。Yes. Make a face. Make a face. Desk. Desk. Throw. Throw. Somersault. Somersault. Wrong. Wrong. Right. Right. Spoon. Spoon. Soup. Soup. Shivati has a younger sister named Dami. No matter what Shivati does, Dami always copies him. Dami brushes her teeth just like Shivati. Dami pretends to be a superhero just like Shivati. Dami laughs at the TV just like Shivati. When Shivati makes a face at Dami, she makes a face back at him. Dami always copies me. I can't stand it. Chivati wants Dami to stop copying him, so he starts to behave badly. Look at your face. 
You're a mess. Fun, fun. <laughs> Chivati, Dummy, stop it! Don't play with your food. Chivati wants Dummy to stop following him around, so he goes into his father's study to play. Let's climb up on Dad's desk. On Dad's desk. <laughs> You two know you are not allowed in here. Chivati throws all of his toys around, and Dummy copies him. When their mom sees this, she worries. Dummy, throw your toys like this. <laughs> What's going on in here? One day, Dummy sees Chivati doing somersaults. It looks like fun, so Dummy decides to try, but Dummy can't do it. <laughs> Mom and Dad try to help Dami feel better, but she will not stop crying. Chivati feels responsible. Don't cry, sweetheart. You'll be okay. Dami, I am sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. After Dami goes to sleep, Chivati tells his parents what happened and how he feels. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Chivati, Dummy doesn't know right from wrong. You know she copies you, so be careful. When Dummy feels better, Chivati starts to show her the right way to do things. Hold a spoon and eat the soup like this. Uh huh. I'm so proud of you too. Chivati tells Dummy that they can't play in Dad's study, so they go to the park instead. We can climb on the jungle gym, but not on Dad's desk. Way to go, Dami! <laughs> When they get home, Chivati shows Dami how to put away her toys. Mom and Dad look on and think their son is really growing up. Put your toys in a box like this, okay? Okay, fun, fun. <laughs> well done, kids. I think you've got a nice big brother, Dummy. <laughs>